Okay, time. Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes. Yes. Okay, we're we'll starting a una clase más inglés. Yes. We're gonna start the English class. Yesterday we had this conversation. Okay, in for example, conversation and invitation. Invitation. It says, "I have tickets to soccer match on Friday night." Would you like to go? Thanks. I love to. What time does it does it start? At eight. That sounds great. So do you want to have dinner at six? Uh, I like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Una vez más. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I love to. What time does it start? At 8. That sounds great. So you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay, volunteer for day. One volunteer for day. Voluntario para day. Me. Thank you, Miss Steph. And volunteer for Susan. Me, teacher. Miss Edith, thank you. All right, let's start. Three to one, action. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I love to. What time does it start? At eight. That sounds great. So do you want to have dinner at six? Oh, I like to, but I have to work late. Oh, thanks. Okay, let's just me meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the, at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Excellent. Very good. See you there. Or see you there. Very good. Muy bien. Vamos a pasar tres parejas. Necesito una más. Pareja número dos. Volunteer for Dave. For Dave. Me, teacher. Thank you, Miss Francia. And volunteer for Susan. Miss Consuelo. Thank you. All right, let's start. Okay, three to one action. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thank I love to. What time does it start? At eight. That sounds great. So do you want to have dinner at six? Mm, I like to, but I have to work late. Okay, that okay. Let's just me at be studying before the match around seven thirty. Okay, let's meet at the gate. In the sun, fine. See you there. See you there. Muy bien. Vamos a practicar. Eh, por, por ejemplo, would you like? 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 Okay. What time does what time does it start? What time does it start? What time? What time does 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 it, does it start? Start. start? Muy bien. Ahora, eh, última pareja. Uno, Voluntario para Dave. For Dave. 
Me, teacher. Thank you, Mr. Christian. And one for Susan, please. One for Susan. Volunteer for Susan. Un voluntario para Susan. Me again, teacher. Thank you. All right, let's start. Okay. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 p.m. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Oh, I... I did like to, but I have to work late. Oh, uh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 30, around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Excellent. Very good. Muy bien. Ok, vamos a ir a la siguiente parte, que es el uso de would. Would like. Would like pertenece, o el, únicamente el would pertenece a el verbos modales. Verbos modales. Los verbos modales son... Un grupo de verbos, valga la redundancia, que tienen sus propias reglas eh, a la hora de hacer la negación, la afirmación, y que al anteponerse a un verbo lo modifica, cambiando la intención. Por ejemplo, si utilizamos would, el verbo sonaría como, eh, por ejemplo, si utilizamos el verbo like, I would like, sonaría como me gustaría, I would like. I would buy, compraría. Yo, um, ellos, eh, a ellos les gustaría. They would like. Teacher, entonces, eh, este, este verbo, sí sería, sí, ¿verdad? Verbo. Sí, un verbo modal. Verbo mm -hmm. modal. Porque Mo en, modal todo, o modal. Modal verb. <laughs> Ajá, vaya. Entonces, este verbo simplemente es para como dígame, para, dígame. Hablar, para hablar de en el, como pasado. No, o no. Yo, es o como sea, eh, perdón, 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 es para el futuro, digamos como yo voy a estar o yo voy a ir. O... No, es, es como compraría, bailaría, es como algo hipotético. Pero ahorita no quiero que se enfoquen eh, a qué se refiere, se lo está dando como a la equivalencia. Porque eh, uh -huh. únicamente lo vamos a ver de una, de una forma esporádica, este verbo modal. Porque se utiliza mayormente para sonar más eh, refinado, llamémosle, algo más formal um, a la hora de proponer o solicitar cosas. Por ejemplo, si usted dice, quiere invitar a su mejor amiga, a su mejor amigo a comer, o quizás a su jefe o a su jefa, a alguien que es un ambiente formal, usted le va a decir, hey, would you like to go to the restaurant? ¿Te gustaría? ¿Le gustaría? ¿Ok? Would you like? Would you like? Y aquí dice, would you like to go out on Friday? ¿Te gustaría salir? Would you like to go on Friday? ¿Te gustaría salir el viernes? <coughs> Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Sí, me gustaría. O, o sí, me encantaría. Yes, I would. No, I wouldn't. Ok, la pronunciación es sin la L. Would. I would. I would like. I would like. Ok, eh... También podemos utilizar otro verbo aparte de like. Por ejemplo, I would love. Me, me encantaría. Lo amaría. Por ejemplo, uh, ¿te gustaría 
algo de tomar? Would you like something to drink? Would you like something to drink? Entonces, se utiliza para eh, proponer o solicitar cosas de una forma más formal, que suene más refinado, podríamos llamar. Algo en un ambiente más, más formal. Ok, en cambio su amigo se le dice, hey, open the fridge. Pero acá es como más formal. No sé si me da a entender con el uso de wood o seguimos reforzando. Ok, would pertenece a la lista de verbos modales. En este contexto, modifica el verbo para sonar más refinado. Okay, por ejemplo, si agregamos el verbo like, sonará te gustaría. Would you like? Would you like? Te gustaría. Seguido de la preposición to. Would you like to go? Te gustaría ir. Te gustaría tomar. Would you like to take? ¿Te gustaría al, algo de beber? Would you like something to drink? ¿Te gustaría salir? Would you like to go out? Ok. Y dice, Would you like to go out on Friday? ¿Te gustaría salir el viernes? Yes, I would. I love to. Thanks. Acá esta parte eh, que ven como una D. Es la, redu la reducción o ¿no? la forma contractada de would. I'll. I love to. I'll really like to go. Me, verdaderamente me encantaría. Podemos decir así. I'll really like to go. Ok. Would you like to go a soccer match? ¿Te gustaría ir a un partido de fútbol? I like to. But I have to work late. Me gustaría, pero tengo que trabajar hasta tarde. I, but I have to work late. I like to, but I need to save money. Me gustaría, pero debo de o necesito ahorrar dinero. I like to, but I want to visit my parents. Dice, respond three invitation, then write three invitation for the given responses. En la, en, litera, en la columna 1 están la le vamos a invitar a hacer vamos a invitar y ustedes tienen que contestar y dice I have, I have tickets to the baseball game tengo tickets para el juego de béisbol para Saturday would you like to go cómo contestarían a esta invitación would you like to go I have tickets to the basketball game On Saturday, would you like to go? Yes, I'd love to. Thanks. I'm sorry, one more time? Yes, I'd love to. Thanks. Excellent. I love to dance. Muy bien. Eh, la siguiente dice, otra, ¿cómo, ¿cómo responderían? De otra forma. Would you like, would you like to, I have tickets to the baseball game on Saturday. Would you like to go? Yes, I'd like to go. Excellent. Or I, I'd really like to go. Muy bien. En la siguiente invitación, ¿cómo la contestarían? Uh, would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night? Come over significa como visitarme. Would you like to come over? I like to come over you. To come over, solo, solo come over, sin come over you. One more time, okay. please. I'd like to come over. Excellent. I love to come over. I'd like to, but I have English classes. Ah, excellent. I like to, but I have English classes. Very good. Would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night? ¿Cómo contestaría? Otra 
hasta el, hasta el momento lo han hecho muy bien los compañeros. ¿Otra forma de contestar? I would like, it, but I have many uh, something to do tonight. Okay, excellent. Another volunteer. Teacher, tengo una consulta. Adelante, Miss. Para decir no, no me gustaría. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't like. Or, oh, I would not like. I would not. Okay. Exacto. Esa es la forma formal, ¿verdad? la forma completa. Y la contracción, I wouldn't. Ok, ok, gracias. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Muy bien. La, te la tercera dice, would you like to go to a to a pop concert with this with me this concert? Ah, would you like to go to a pop concert with me this weekend? ¿Cómo contestarían, chicos? Maybe yes, I would like to go with you. Yeah, ah, excellent. Yeah, I would like to go with you. Excellent. Yes, I like to come with the other friend. One more time, please. Yes, I would like to go with a, a other friend. Okay, with a friend. Very good. With a friend or with some friends, mister? Okay. No, no, le pregunta. With a friend or with some friends? With a friend. Okay, with a friend. Sí, porque dice with a friends hay una contradicción. Muy bien. Ok, ahora ya está la respuesta. Ustedes tienen que hacer la pregunta. Yes, I love to. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Would you like to go shopping with me? Ah, excellent. Would you like to go shopping with me? Would you like to go shopping with me? Of course. I like... To go with you. I, li I like to go with you. Excellent. Another, another invitation, otra invitación. Uh, me, teacher. Would you like to go to cinema? Excellent. Very good. Muy bien. La número cinco. Well. I like to, but I have to study. Well, I like to. Bien, me gustaría, pero tengo que estudiar. Would you like to go to a beauty salon? Would you like to go to a beauty salon? Excellent. Muy bien. Another Would you like to go to the new library with me? Excellent. But you will make you will wait for a long time just to end. <laughs> like three hours. <laughs> exactly. Okay, five. Uh, I'm sorry, six. Yes, thank. Yes, thank you. I really like to Yeah. 
Would you like to go to the firework campero like with me? Okay. <laughs> okay. Muy bien. Bueno. El ejercicio C. Uh, think of three things you would like to do, then in invite a partner to do one with you. Your partner asks follow-up question like this. Ok, ustedes van a hacer unas invitaciones y sus compañeros tienen que hacerle ese tipo de preguntas. Por ejemplo, when is it? ¿Cuándo es? Where is it? ¿A dónde es? What time does it start? ¿A qué hora se inicia? Where should, where should we meet? ¿A dónde nos podemos o debemos de reunir? When does it end? ¿Cuándo termina? How should we get there? ¿Cómo llegamos ahí? Entonces, usted, usted hace una invitación. Por ejemplo, would you, like, would you like to go to the shopping? Y él va a decir, when is it? ¿Cuándo es? Ah, it's on Monday. Where is it? Ah, it is in Salvador del Mundo, for example. When does it start? Where should we meet? Ok. Una vez más, hacer una invitación y sus compañeros le van a hacer preguntas que están en el ejercicio C y ustedes van a ir contestando. Y así van a ir cambiando rol. Vamos a hacer esto en 10 minutos. 10 minutos. Exercise C. No sé cómo, sí. cómo repartiríamos. Somos dos y dos. Si quiere, puedo comenzar. Y usted me contesta. Y después los otros dos compañeros. Ok. Ok. Um, would you like to go to a... Um, to a... Um, cinema? Yes, I'd like to go to the cinema here to watch, go to watch the new movie. Okay. Um, let me see. What time? Uh, Do you what Sorry. Does, does it start? Creo que dice. Or, or no. Ah, yes. What time does it start? Uh, at 7 p.m. to Cinema uh, Metro Centro. Cinemark Metro Centro. Uh, yo creo que se dice yo llegaré. I, I will get. I will get. I will get to the cinema. Cuando tú estés ahí, for when... When you are there. When you are there. Thank okay. you. Okay. Okay, we'll see at 6.30 p.m. 6.30 p.m. It's okay? Yes, I ready... I ready, yo estoy listo en la hora. I ready, Thai, 30 p.m. When does, okay. when does he, la otra pregunta creo que, when does he, it end, when does he end? Um, maybe at 9 p.m. 9 p.m. Yes. Very later. Yes. Where is it? In cinema. <laughs> It's um, Cinemark Metro, Metro Centro. Oh, no, Centro, Centro. 
where should we meet? Um, we we will meet at um, cafeteria. Um, sorry, um, in front to Dollar City. Uh, in front. I don't know. You tell. Me. Salon video game. Okay. Yes. Yes. It's more near to the cinema. How should we? How should we get there? Um. Maybe. In bus. But how should we get there? Yes, in bus. I in transporter public in bus, 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 verdad? Bus station, no, station bus. Um, yes, um, bus. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sería como en el apartado seis. C, B. Yes, eh, puede ser otro compañero que pueda practicar. Dice aquí la compañera eh, Catherine que todavía no ha llegado, solo está como es, no, nos está escuchando. Entonces puede practicar usted con otro compañero. Con Cristian y creo que más está. Uy, ¿Qué dice? Eh, Está Katherine, pero ella solo está escuchando ahorita porque no ha llegado a casa. Ah, sí, Katherine. Sí. Solo que no sé si está ahí Cristian. Yes. I am here. Yes. Estas preguntas estamos como conversando. ¿Dónde está? Aquí está, letter C. Ten, como tenemos que decir dónde nos gustaría ir. Como, when is it? Ok, would you like to go to a rock concert with me this weekend? Yes. I like to go with you. Well, the concert start at 9 p.m. 9 p.m. When does it end? No, when does it end? Um, when? When does it end? It's um, at around 12 p.m. Where is it? Uh, it's uh, it's in uh, Estadio Cuscatlán. Oh, Estadio Cuscatlán. I go to I go to next week. Where should where should we meet? Where should we meet? Um, I don't know what. Uh, uh, hot dogs in the streets. How should we get there? Yeah. Cool. Cool. Okay. A ver, son seis preguntas, Ham. Finish. How shall we get there? You can use yes. over. How should, es mis, should. Should, should. Okay. Sin la L, should. 
Should. Should. Should. Where is it? In my house. Hay otro compañero dijo que le preguntamos a él. Hey, would you would you like to go to watch the soccer game? Can you repeat again, please? Would you like to go to watch a soccer game? Yes, I would like. When is it? It's on 19 January. Okay, where is it? It's in the Cuscatlan Stadium. In Great. What time does it start? Uh, it start at 7, but we have to go before 6 for the traffic. Okay, where should we meet? Uh, maybe in Salvador del Mundo. Great. When does it end? Uh, I think I think the it's in two hours in the soccer game. Okay. How should we get there? Uh, we can pick it up a uh, pick up a bus uh, or maybe we can pick up a, an Uber or in driver to go there. Okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. See you soon. Así más o menos sería la, formular la pregunta y, y, con, y contestar con esta. Por ejemplo, ¿cuándo? Pues, it is... Ajá, por eso, pero la pregunta que usted hizo, uh -huh. would, you, ¿would you like to go con cinema with me? Sería, uh -huh. ¿when is it? Uh -huh. ¿When is? Entonces... Eso se puede decir, ¿qué, qué te pusiste? Tú, tomorrow, tonight. Entonces, eh, tendríamos que mencionar la película. Entonces, ahí vamos a, vamos a decir qué hora inicia. Para okay. la respuesta. What time does it start? Uh -huh. Ahí sí. Uh -huh. Sí, sí. Uh -huh. Bueno, hagámoslo, hagamos, aunque sea esa, así. A ver, a... sería la pregunta, sería go to line to go cine. With, with me, sería. Ese, creo que to come cinema with me. Uh -huh. Entonces, como no especifica, en, esa, en la pregunta que usted está haciendo, no, digamos, no, no especifica. Entonces, yo le, yo le, yo le uh -huh. respondo, when is it? When is it? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y podría, esto se refiere no, a... No, porque la... ahí, solo, ahí solo sería when. Cuando el día. Uh -huh. Podría ser eh, oh, para decir a las nueve, por ejemplo. ¿Cómo? La respuesta también podría ser como eh, es hoy a las nueve. Entonces, ¿cuál es lo?
Eh, digamos, eh, sería is, entonces sería it is 9 pm. No, is, is, is today at night. At night sería mm -hmm. at 9 pm. Bien. Entonces ahí sería when does it end? When, ta, when time does it start? Uh -huh. También podría ser, digamos, eh, well, well to, to go in a gym, or where well, well you like to go gym, well you like to go to the gym with me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. On Monday. Podría, ah, po podríamos completarlo como cuál tu cuál tu like. Ajá, te gustaría ir con mi like al go gimnasio go el lunes. O tomorrow. Ajá, el Ah, oh, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I like to, I like to, but I have to the class, the class, the English. Mm -hmm. Ok, bueno, well, eh, ahora que desarrollaron las preguntas, vamos a hacer algunos ejemplos. Ok, vamos a pedir a algunos de nuestros compañeros que haga una invitación y los y otros compañeros van a hacer las preguntas. Ok, ready. Who wants to, who wants to ask the invitation? To tell this invitation. Who wants? Quiere decir la invitación. Would you like to go somewhere? ¿Qué tal si Miss Francia hace, hace, las, hace la invitación y los demás compañeros hacen las preguntas? Ok. Thank you. Would you like to go to the cinema with me? Excellent. Would you like to go to the cinema? Where is it? Ah, uh, where When is it? Ah, uh, it's on next Friday. What time does it start? It starts at 9 p.m. Okay. Where shall we meet? At the bus terminal. At oh, the bus <laughs> station. The bus station. Bus station, okay. At the bus station. How should we render? We should get an Uber. Ah, cool. By Uber. By Uber. By. We should. We should. We should get there by Uber. We should get there by Uber. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Ahora, Miss Edith, ella hace la invitación. 
Okay. Um, a ver. Ay, ¿qué le puedo decir? Okay. Would you? Uh, would, would you? Would you like to come? To come me the beauty salon. Okay. Would you like to go to a beauty salon? Uh -huh. When is it? Eh, is Mexicano? No. When? Eh, tomorrow. Tomorrow in the morning. Okay. Where is it? In Mexicano. Mexican, Mexican. <laughs> what time does it start? At 10 in the morning. Okay. Where should we meet? Okay. Where should we meet? Where should we? Where? Ah, Where? Sí, the place. Mm, okay, it could be. Ser... In Metro Centro. Es <laughs> decirle eso. Metro Centro, um, Pizza Hut. Okay. And when does it end? Mm. Todo when it día, finished todo el día ah, okay. All the day. Okay. All the day. Okay. Okay. how should we get there how should we get there okay by bus by, by car by, by bus okay by bus. see you there <laughs> thank you excellent very good okay gracias, gracias a los que participaron y a los que Hicieron la práctica en los breakout rooms. Ahora rápidamente nos vamos a ir a la siguiente, a la siguiente parte que es Christmas. Christmas, Cristina, I'm sorry, Cristina Aguilera. Cristina Aguilera. Ok. It says, scan the article, look at the picture, in what year did the event take place? ¿En qué año cree que sucedió esto que vamos a leer ahorita? I seen just in a first glance. Last year, yeah. 2010. When? Give me a number. Give me a year. When do you think it happened? Just the images. 2000. right? Yeah. <coughs> I was like 10, 10 years old. All right. No, yeah. more. 20. 20, no, but I was. 20, 20 or more. Yo tenía. <laughs> How old are you, teacher? Um, I. I'm super old. Okay, it okay. says <laughs> more than 30. Okay, it says. You are young. I am. Um, I was born in 1991. Uh, okay. okay. It says Christina Aguilera. Scan the article and look at the picture. In what year did each event take place? Take place is una frase que significa cuando sucedió. Take place o cuando toma lugar sería traducido literalmente, pero es para referirse a cuando sucede. O cuando pasará. O cuando sucedió en ese caso que es en el pasado. Y dice, so far, she has multiple hit singles. She has, she has fans of all ages around the world. And many people say she is the best singer of her generation. She is Christina Aguilera. Here are some highlights 
of Christina life and career. Christina is born on December 19 in New York. Christina's first appearance on television in a star search a television talent show. Christina is on TV in Disney, New Mickey Mouse Club with Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake. Timberland. Timberlake. Timberlake. Timberlake, right? Christ, uh, Christina records All I Wanna Do with Keiso Naka, Nakanishi, Japanese Nakanishi. pop star. She tours Japan. Christina sings a song for Disney movie Mulan. Christina has her first big hit, Chinina, Chinitas in a Bottle. Along with another singer, Christina records Lady Mar Marmalade for, for movie Moulin Roach. Christina performs at the closing ceremony for the Winter Olympic Games in Salt Lake City, Utah. Utah. Uh, Christina wins the Best Female Pop Vocal Grammy Award for Beauty. Ok, esos son como los eventos más relevantes que ha tenido Cristina Aguilera. Ok, read the article, then number the sentence from one to eight. Van a leer el ejercicio A, dice que van a leer el artículo y van a numerar las oraciones del 1 al 8. O sea, del primer evento al último evento. Y sí, le eh, vamos a dar tres minutos. Ejercicio A, enumerar los eventos del 1 al 8, el más antiguo al más nuevo. Ok, let's start right now. Ready. Not yet. ¿Estamos listos para el ejercicio A? Exercise A.
Ok, ¿cuál sería el número uno? Number one. Let it be. be. I think so. She is born yeah. in New York. Ok. Yes. Eh, she is born in New York. Pero ¿cómo sería el pasado? Okay, no, eh, number two. What is number two? She's on television she for the she... first time. I'm sorry? She is on television for the first time. Okay, that is letter G. Letter G. Letter G. Okay, three. Little F. She worked with Britney Spears. She works with Britney Spears. Yes. Number four. Number four. Number four. Number four. Number four. Number four. She travels around Japan. She travels around Japan. Five. 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 She records a song for a Disney movie. Excellent. And six. Little H. She has her she first has very, very successful song. song. Successful. 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 Excellent. And seven. And eventually, she wins a Grammy for Beauty. Excellent. Bueno, vamos a, ir a, vamos a tomar la asistencia de esta noche. Aquí les agradezco muchísimo la participación durante la clase y recordarles la realización de las tareas. Okay, de la plataforma. Ok, la, eh, la presentación de las tareas y la asistencia, okay, que son 60 minutos diarios. Realmente vamos a pedir si la mayoría está la completo. Estamos completo únicamente de Jorge Alberto, que está. Le hace falta un par de actividades. Bueno, vamos a tomar la asistencia. Comenzamos con Tejada, Francia. Present. Olmedo, Magaña. Present. Montano, Hernández. Present. Alemán, Gómez. Present. Alvarado, Briseño. Present. García Torres, Hernández Rodríguez, present, Herrera Vázquez, present, Nieto Jovel, present, Hernández López, Lía Morán, present, Torres Guzmán, present, Monroy Valencia, Monroy Valencia Villa Toro Torres Present Rosales de Quintanilla Monterrosa Delgado Monterrosa Delgado García Reyes Present. Jiménez Morales. Present. Torres Maña. Present. Abrego Hernández. Abrego Hernández. Cruz Rivera. Present. Eras Asensio. Present. Mesa Leiva. Present, teacher. Flores Carmona. Present. Duarte García. Present. Turcio Arevalo. Present. 
Alegría Mejía. Present. Hernández Rosa. Cruz Hernández. Present. Cedillos Rodríguez. Present, teacher. Muy bien. Bueno, nos vamos a detener acá. El stop right here, the class. Okay, do not forget to do the homework activities and see you tomorrow at the same time and the same channel. Okay, have a good one. God bless you and bye-bye. Bye-bye, teacher. Thank bye -bye. you. Bye, teacher. God bless you tonight. Thank you.